Hello. And greetings, YouTube. Greetings and salutations. <clears throat> I am here to ask you guys very important questions. The very, very important questions. One moment. Now, I need you to do me a favor. Look into my eyes. Do I have something in this eye? I feel like I have something in this. Never mind. Anyway, a friend asked me to post something about my opinions on hypnosis videos and mind control. Of the third dimension, or some crap like that, I don't know. All I do know, people, is that hypnosis videos, mind control, and all that crap are with you. The mind is the one organ in the entire body that they have not even mapped 5 to 10% of. I mean, completely mapped, as far as I understand at all. So, what is hypnosis? Is it all, look into my eyes? Follow the swinging pendulum, even though this is my computer mouse. You're getting very sleepy. As it clicks, you go deeper. Yeah, you get the idea. But basically, hypnosis is all about you, the person. I just got done watching another thousand hypnosis videos, and I, you know, if you ever see my post on there, I just post, yes, master, yes, my mistress, all that crap. We're just pretty much post what everyone else posts in the exact same way or whatever. But I'm not here to knock hypnosis. I'm not here to promote hypnosis. I'm here to give the logical point of view on hypnosis. If it's your bag of chips or your cup of tea, mate, then that's what you enjoy. I'm not going to insult it. I'm not going to ridicule it. I'm not going to yay it. It's hypnosis. The person, if you yourself give the person the power over you, then that's submissive. That's why they always say, obey, 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 and it drones on. It's because you have to want to give that power to the person. Just like uh, people when they're get it on and they uh, whap each other on the butt with chains or handcuffs or whatever you do in that scenario. Hypnosis doesn't have to be that. Hypnosis can be for confidence. It's because you want it bad enough, so you, it's, you have to hide behind something else. Uh, that's not the best way to describe it. But hypnosis can be used to uh, lose weight, I've seen. I've seen people quit smoking cigarettes off hypnosis. Oh, crap. Got a damn thing on my foot. Oh, that sucks. Oh, crap. Anyway. Yeah. That was weird. Some damn spider was trying to, like, eat my foot. Anywho. But, um, I've seen all kinds of stuff, you know, with hypnosis. It's all about the person. It's all about, you know, you. I'm watching a hypnosis video, and I'm just standing there going, hmm, because I'm not the hypnotized type, which is not me. Other people might be that. So I humor them. I watch them. I comment, I, you know, whatever. But I'd like to hear what other people have to say about hypnosis. Do you like hypnosis? And if so, do you like being the one being hypnotized, the one hypnotizing somebody? And there's a whole lot of questions in this. Do you like being hypnotized or hypnotizing? And of course, that goes into different sections. Because if you like being hypnotized, what do you want the person to do? Do once they have you hypnotized. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Get creative, but not too disturbing. And if you're the person who likes to do the hypnotizing, what do you like to do? Because personally, I'd love to hypnotize people. That would be fun. Getting hypnotized, I'm not that guy. I'm not the submissive, yes master, yes mistress guy. But I would definitely hypnotize people. And the first thing I would do is I would line up 10 really, really hot chicks. And you don't know where I'm going with this. Don't think sex, YouTube. Don't think perverted. 
and I would make them all do a chicken dance. I would make them all cluck around. And most people are saying, Spall, you're a guy. I know exactly what you do, but you don't. And here's why. I would have them all dance like chickens all around some place, all around like some business, some, some, uh, you know, that way the cops, you know, since they're hot chicks, I mean, drop dead gorgeous hot too. I mean, uh, not just like, you know, your next door neighbor hot. I'm talking like freaking Jessica Alba, Jessica Bale. Actually, I'm sorry, Jessica Bale. Hot. Well, you know, Alyssa Milano, hot. And while they're doing that, they're dancing around, you know, just doing the regular goofy dance because they're hot. It's going to confuse people because they're a chicken fan. That's going to confuse people. I'd go in and rob a bank. Yep, that's the sinister Joshua. <laughs> yes, the mastermind of masterminds. The evil. Now repeat after me. Wa Tana Siam. Now say it faster and faster until you realize you're saying Wa Tana Siam. Wa Tana Siam. Wa Tana Siam. You've been fooled by the powers of darkness. <laughs> Sorry, I got that from Kids in the Hall. But anyway, back to hypnosis, back to the mind control, which are two different things. Hypnosis is hypnotizing people. Mind control is peeing deep into the mind, grasping on, leeching deep in, and taking over the brain. Like we all walk like Frankenstein. Because... While I'm on this and while I've gotten everything else out of the way, my personal points of view on hypnosis um, and uh, the actual facts about hypnosis, you have to let yourself be hypnotized. There is no, no one can actually take over your mind. There are, now, mind control and brainwashing are totally different than hypnosis. Hypnosis is suggestive messages, all that stuff. Mind control and brainwashing are pretty much the same. It's constant bombardment, um, lack of sleep breaking down the person against their will while hypnosis is luring the person in seductively whether it be actual you know or just you don't want to be in control of that situation you want to hand it over to something else and then of course the brainwashing and the mind control are more the bombarded with shit and poom, 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 poom. it's like uh, sleep deprived is one of the things Food deprived is one of the things. It makes you physically weak, it makes you mentally weak, it makes you emotionally weak. And in that weakened state, someone takes over. And that is what I feel it is. And that's what I've learned from watching many, many, many documentaries, many, many actual studies of uh, brainwashing, mind control, because I know this, there's actually cults that do that. But let's stay away from the creepy side of hypnosis, mind control, and brainwashing, which basically involves taking your head open and grabbing it really good with something. Hasn't anyone ever seen the night before Christmas when he just open his scalp and like wash his brain? That's brainwashing, people. That's brainwashing. That's brainwashing. By the way, if no one could hear what was on this video, merely turn up the volume all the freaking way and or send in the box that you could not hear and I will make another what is mind uh, no I'm sorry what is hypnotic mind control and brainwashing there we go now if you would like a further demonstration or example Please call me at 1-800-EAT-SHEET. That is 1-800-E-A-T-S-H-I-T. Thank you, and have a shitty day. This has been a public service announcement from 1-800-EAT-SHEET-MIND-CONTROL. If someone's controlling you, well, you're fucked. <laughs>